Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Swords and Sandals Immortals, a roguelike gladiator turn-based RPG that is reviewing incredibly well on Steam, and I'm very curious to check it out. It looks wild. It looks bizarre, and I am very ready to pop on in here. More or less, okay, I'm sure that this is just going to be saying this is early access. There's a lot of work that is still going to be done. This is what it is. So keep that in mind as we go in that there will be more added and changed throughout time here. So, <laughs> it is the year 640 CM. Four decades have passed since the automatons, mysterious robotic aliens of unknown origin, left our world. Now they've returned, pursued by a devastating enemy known as the Starbound Gladiator, once hailed as a hero. He departed our world to fight amongst the stars. Something happened out there in space to turn him into the darkness. For in just 300 days, he will return to Tritonia with destruction as his only goal. Only a single gladiator may face him in battle for the fate of the world. All right. And, and these are our gladiators. Dwight. So we can pick like a, a species, Guntarian. Oh my God. Got like a Sagan Blob. Oh my God. What the hell do we start out with? I mean, I kind of do like the idea of just going for Mr. Skellington, man. Clergish? Should we just start with a human for the sake of it? No, let's go Clerg. Look at that. Okay, I must. Plus two bonus attack, bonus 10% chance to hit when fighting in the mountains, 10% chance to hit when fighting in the swamps, 10% extra damage from fire attacks. It's Joseph. All right, Joseph. You know what? I, I'm going to go with Joseph as, as the RN Jesus made him. It's too beautiful. I can't, I cannot, I can't possibly adjust Joseph. Uh, taunt quote, Rarg, victory quote, I cannot be defeated. Okay, no, no, no. Th that's important. Oh! This actually adjusts their stats and stuff, too. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Select a character class. Okay, first, let, let me... Okay, we got warrior, wizard, bard, knight, rogue, priest. Let me get a good look at him. I, I gotta be honest. He's a warrior. <laughs> Joseph is a warrior. There's no doubt about it. Uh, plus two bonus strength, plus two bonus attack, maximum total health increase, uh, devastating critical hit that does 21 melee damage, uh, powerful kick that knocks back your enemy and stuns them for a turn. You know, sure. Primary stats. I mean, Joseph, probably going to be a uh, just a strong, a strong, dumb lad. Can we, can we take out intellect? Nope, we cannot take out any intellect. We'll go for five strength. Oh my god, he's got no vitality. He, he's a chonky lad as well. All right. Well, well, you know, when Joseph inevitably very quickly dies and we must make a new character, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll look at that a little bit more. The realm of Brandor has been at peace for some years now. You're the generation who has known no war or poverty, but with the arrival of the automatons, this is all set to change. Up until now, you've enjoyed a relatively humble existence. Nevertheless, your ambitions soar after a wandering sage proclaims you have an unmistakable strength of spirit. You may indeed possess the metal to defeat the Starbound Gladiator. At the same time, he cautions you to get a taste for combat before leaping into the gladiatorial career. Points you to the recruiting town of Willard Sound. Heeding his advice, you arrive in the sleepy hamlet some days later, keen to get struck, uh, stuck into action. Okay. Uh, before you can confront any rival gladiators, however, it's worth noting this is going to add online PvP as well, apparently. I, I saw on the Steam page eventually. I don't think it's in it right now, but it will get it. You must first confront the reason you embarked on the journey. What drives you, gladiator? Uh, you know what? Joseph is definitely in it to save the world. Most interesting. The world turns and the celestial tapestry continues to weave. Before you left your hometown, the mysterious old man granted you a small gift to start you on your way. What did you choose for your reward? I... Money. I'm in it for the for for saving humanity, but also a little bit of a little bit of money on the side. <laughs> the hamlet of Willard Sound is home to one of the great fishing communities in this realm. Generations of sea dogs, wharfies, pirates, and fishwives have blessed the town with a distinctly fish <laughs> fishy smell. This has led the town's detractors to quip that Willard's may be sound all right, but it sure smells terrible. With luck, this place will serve as the first step on your path to greatness. What wonders await you in these days ahead? 
You've not defeated the regional champion and you've not gone on an adventure here. Okay, if I just hit in camp, is that going to take me in? 300 days until arrival. Hail citizens of Brandor, I am Fight Selector 386DX of the Automatons. We know you traveled a long way to be here. We are honored that you wish to volunteer to defend your world from the threat of the Starbound Gladiator. Know that you are but one of many who consider themselves worthy of such a task, and yet only one shall be selected as the Great Sentinel. When the Starbound Gladiator arrives, the Great Sentinel will step forward to challenge him. One battle to decide the fate of this world. But that is for another day. For now, you must face your opponent, defeat him in battle, and take the first step in a journey that may take you to the very stars above. We're going to have a... St I love that already the stakes are so good. We're going to go have a space fight. A melee space brawl. We will be watching closely. Always. Oh, my God. Joseph versus Bruce the Useless. Oh, you can do this, Brucey Bruce Bruce. It is a night battle. What the heck is going on here? Power score. I have a much higher power battle uh, score. Oh, so we can click these. Normal weather temperature. It's in the hills. We don't have an advantage in the hills. That's all right. There's not really much Bruce is good at. A former protege of the notorious grifter Antimitis. He too fell victim to the villain's schemes, and now Bruce finds himself in Willardstown looking to start his next career, which may indeed be short-lived. This music is wild. I'm ready. Fight me, Bruce. Roll 11 or higher to attack first. I did it. Oh my god, what? Okay. Walk backwards, jump. Oh my god. Uh, average low hit chance. You know what? Let's go for medium. 53% chance to hit for 12. Oh, okay. Not bad. Use species specials. Cannot use new skills coming soon. Okay. I feel like at this point, we just want to... We want to make sure we hit. I mean, that was pretty easy. We also ran out of mana then. I don't know what would happen then. <laughs> what on earth, man? Oh, Joseph. You defeated your first opponent. Congratulations. It has an incon incontrovertible fact that your enemy was inferior and had no business being here today. But as the great philosopher Mr. Muji once said, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Rest now and meditate on what you've learned at the campfire. Okay, so I can now level up. Ooh, this is... <laughs> Everything! Everything about this game is both wild and perfect. Okay, so... Jump power, move speed. Now we know a little bit more what's going on here. Essence regeneration and total essence seems pretty... Pretty valuable now. Let's get, let's get one and hit chance. No, no, just damage, just damage. No hit chance, hit chance, Sonic hit defense versus magic, Sonic damage, shop discounts. Oh my God, we're, we're going beefy. Great power flows through you. Select a talent tree, theatrics. I mean, it's gotta be warfare for, for our lovely individual here. You better believe it. I mean, all right, Axe Mastery. What do we have? Do we have a sword? I didn't even, I don't even remember. Increase the damage done and hit chance with swords by 2%. Great. <laughs> it, just, it, just, it just moves so fast, but I'm glad it does. Here's the thing. Is it moving too fast for me right this moment? A little bit, yes. But you have to keep in mind, imagine if you play this for 20 hours, you're going to appreciate how quick that's moving. Hail, friend, stop a moment. Let me s look upon you. Yes, it is, it is there. I see brilliance, raw power, unlimited potential. You could be the one, the one that saves us all, but not with that weapon, that blade. It's not fit to cut through stale bread. Bled. <laughs> it shall not make bread bled. 
You are blessed that our paths should cross. I am Guillaume de Longe Loungeville, son of the greatest weaponsmith the world has ever known. Before he passed into Sewell's domain, my late father, Louis, taught me everything I know about weapons. I will arm you. I will make you the weapon that will slay the starbound gladiator. All that I ask is that you allow my humble caravan to travel with you. For where you go, the world will follow. Spend your cold with me, and we will save this world together. All right. I mean, do I have a sword? I'm, I'm, <laughs> noob, sh noob shorts. Okay, I do. Noob shorts, noob loincloth. All right, back we go. It gladdens the soul to see such a magnificent gladiator before me. Enter code? What? Please. <laughs> what on earth is happening? What else you got? Dagger is apparently a sword. How much money? I have a lot of money. Sure. A fine choice, even my father. Oh, very fast. It's okay. Info panel. Equip in main hand. How do I favorite it? This is apparently fa a favorite of mine. Oh, no. No, wait, no, wait, no. Wait, yes? Oh, the sword is better. Hold on. Wait. Oh, there we go. Okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. All right. May your sword be sharp and bye. Fighter selector. Today's fights at Willard Sound win four more battles to challenge the regional champion. Cherry Birch Tala. Oh my god, what's my power score? Uh, my power score is 126. So... I feel like let's go with that then, right? Flowery! Let's do it. All right. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Okay. So, I mean, I guess at some point we would learn, like, how to counteract some of this stuff. Advantage Flowery. He has a hit chance bonus because of the kills. Oh, no. Unshakable faith. I don't know what any of that really means. He has a holy heal and a spiritual hammer attack. Don't love that. Oh my god, we're right up in each other's own. Well, that's not great. Okay, so we lost armor in our breastplate. Okay. Calm your spirit, regain health, and essence. Defense will greatly reduce while resting. So these cost mana, right? They do indeed. Hmm. Oh, lucky, lucky. Okay, so we're we're getting a little bit of that. Use Do we have any? Use skill. What do we got? Warrior strike. Critical hit that does 24 melee damage with a 67% chance hit. <laughs> this is Brandor. It's a 1% chance to hit. Knocks your enemy back and stuns them. I feel like we maybe have to be closer to them for that to hit. Should I just... No, I don't think that... Oh my god, 22 damage. That definitely was not the way to go. I wanted to see if I could... Nope, it does not even increase it. All right, here we go. 67. Ooh, that's no good. It's on cooldown for three turns. That's really no good. I, I can't imagine that jumping is going to be the play here. Okay, so he's got, he's got 215 energy. He can hit me from that distance? He's a legend. I'm dead. I'm dead. I didn't get the potion. Gone too soon. Unless... The parry again! You can't be serious! I mean, I pretty much just have to go for this. Otherwise, I'm bopped anyways. Oh my god. There's no way. Alright. 14 damage. 57%! Oh my god! <laughs> Joseph, what are you doing with that? <laughs> Joseph, you legend! Alright, I thought that if we backed up, maybe they couldn't attack me on that turn like they couldn't attack me until I got to the corner. Not the case. Oof!
Congratulations! Thank you! Thank you very much. What do we go for now? I mean, obviously our stamina was pretty rough. How do I increase my chance to hit with that kick? I can't... I... What would I need for that? Hit chance melee, I guess? It's not... It can't... It's not a spell. Maybe it's... Maybe it's Sonic. I doubt it. Big hit. Big hit, big man. Critical mastery. I mean, we might as well probably learn that. Unless... What, what's, what about survival? Increase your parrying ability with melee weapons by 2%. Damage taken by... And chance to resist effects of frost attacks reduced. That guy did have a 10% hit chance increase as well. That's worth thinking about. Alright, we either go for even more sword mastery. Yeah. It's both hit chance and damage. That feels pretty useful to me. Uh, good morning. I'm the training dummy. I've been assigned to help you become a better gladiator. You can find me milling about here anytime you wish to learn some new skills or practice your fighting techniques. I'm your uh, sentient wooden battle dummy. Do you wish to learn new skills? Perhaps do some training with the skills you already know? Uh, meaty burp. Oh my god. What skill do you wish to learn today? I have 12. I can learn something. Attack head. Attack head. Attack torso. Attack arms. Ooh, I do like the idea of attack legs. Grapple. Hmm. Barbarian storm. Drive your foe back with a whirlwind of strikes for 31 damage. Seems... Cr requires guitar? What? Leap at your enemy from a distance. I mean, that seems pretty fun. That's So that's sonic damage. I kind of like the idea of going for attack legs. I feel like it'll be less likely that they'll... <laughs> that, like, they'll try and block it. Surrender there. Sure, we have, now we have the ability to surrender. So what is up with this? Why would I have this? What one percent? Is that seriously a one percent chance to hit? Why would I do it? Special. So we're good in the swamps and mountains. Okay. My maximum total health is increased too, though. All right. Uh, what is this? This feature's coming soon. Okay. Yeah, let's just check this for a sec. I <laughs> Joseph can't do it. He can't jump. All right. I've had enough. I just wanted to see what the jump was like. If I could... I'm glad we tested it there, so I knew if it was going to be viable in combat or not. Um, I'm a level 154 now. Do we do it? Let's do it. Let's let's meet somebody our level. I'm I'm imagining we're going to get more rewards. Am I worried? Yes. Roll. He doesn't have anything. He didn't say anything. Okay. Advantage Leon for a hit chance bonus. This is problematic. You know, we should we should not be fighting humans. Lesson learned. I think they both were humans. The the two that were kind of my level though. Please, let's go. All right. I think I can like yeah, I can he's protected on his chest. I'm gonna break your legs, dude. So three turns on that. I could go for a warrior strike. It's very expensive. Uh, wait, it's less expensive. Parried. You went for my legs. No, wait, that was my chest plate. But I'm wearing some pants as well. I feel like I can't walk backwards fast enough for it to be useful. Right? Like I can't do it enough for it to be valuable. Okay, so let's think here. Uh, so this is gonna do... That does 18. 
Okay. Oh, but the armor! The armor's on the chest, and that's a middle attack. Okay, well, we gotta rest. This is not good. Pants broken. Forever? I feel like we can actually rest as well. Since he knows magic! He knows magic! He knows magic! Oh, this is bad. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. This does 29, but it does 29 in the chest where he has seven armor. Oh, God, Joseph, is this the end? Are Don't do it. Don't do it, Joseph. Don't do it. You have much to... Your day ends in defeat. So that's not game over yet. Game over is just if we die, right? But we have a, we're on a ticking timer clock of 300 days. So I imagine truly that that's going to become a problem if we, you know, skip to... There's a gun here. <laughs> <There's> a... <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. All right, fight selector. Give me somebody who's not a human. Okay. You're you're not you you're not human with a purple body like that, no sir. Do we fight? You know what? Let's fight a level two. Let's fight another weaker individual. See how it goes. It's a fey priest. All right, Coney. Coney, fey priest. Oh, not good. Breast... Okay, breastplate broken. I no longer have any armor anywhere. There is a world where I one-shot him. <laughs> I just... Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Great. But I also didn't get enough experience for anything there. So we have to fight Torrents now. So it was almost, it, it almost didn't matter. All right, Torrance. Why do you get an advantage in the hills too? Man. Holy heal, spiritual hammer, yield, fight, firebolt. You've got a lot. I should have looked at that last guy. He's got, he's got range. This guy does too. He, I have a sneaking suspicion you might be trying to leave. I don't think I want to go for the feet unless he tries to jump. Oh, he's fully armored. Oh, no. He is fully armored. Does this break armor or something? It, it, I saw it did a lot more damage last time than it said. It did like 40-something. See, yeah, it did 36. I can't let him have distance. What? Oh my god. That's not good. I broke all of his armor, more or less. He's just got a little bit on his head. But I, I don't think that I have this. Unless that was like a really powerful move of his. Which maybe it was. I could attack legs. Do we just try and go for it? Because clearly if we can't beat this fight, then guess what? Joseph is just going to be having a terrible time for a while. Hmm... Because this, this is a loss, right? Like, it just is. Fine. One, one more. Get one more shot, Joseph. You have to give 39 gold. Gotcha. All right. So, yeah, this is, this is going poorly. Very poorly. Okay. I mean, we have a lot of money. I'm not worried about that. If I do training, I don't level up, do I? Like, I don't... Okay. Nope. Uh, and there's nothing else left to buy. I can't buy myself any more armor. My... That son of a gun broke my armor. But there's somebody... Okay, there's Gloop Dip. Alright, I can... What? <laughs> uh. 
What? I... Blob Knight. Okay. Uh, Nightly Resolve Salute of Honor. That is fine. There's no range. There's no range in them. I also see no armor, but also he's a goo boy. I don't know if that matters. Perry. You broke my pa Oh, uh, okay. My armor does come back. That other person just destroyed all my clothes immediately, I guess. Okay, okay. 16. We can do that with a medium, which is 61%. I feel like it's probably our better bet right now. Nice. <laughs> he fell on, fell on his butt. There, there's a level up. Maybe now we can beat the next guy. Let's do a little bit of leveling. Da -da -da! We need... Okay, we need to get a little bit of adjustment here. Move speed, jump power, defense versus ranged attacks. I do like the idea of the move speed in case we get pushed back again, you know? That is problematic. Health regen, I wonder. How, how does health regen work? Hmm. Let's go with... Fine. Fine. Like, if we can just... If we have a 100% hit chance with our weapons, we could probably be fine. There you are, my brilliant gladiator. I see you out there whirling and spinning like an angel of blades. Yes, that's me. That's me, all right. And yet... What if you get hit? These rags you wear are not worthy of such virtuoso. They could be the death of you. It is of the highest priority that we keep you alive, and I know just the man to help you. Thargan, the armorer, ever since the glory days of Doom Trek, he's grown accustomed to the idle life of a fisherman. I think it's time to convince him to come out of retirement. Ah, uh, well, yeah, me called me a layabout, did he? Outrageous. He has the sharp tongue of his father with none of his father's skill for sharp blades. Who is he to jibe at my pastimes? <laughs> is a man not entitled to fish in peace? And yet, you are yet to impress me either. Back in the days of the Antares, curse his name, gladiators would drop like flies in the arena and they had ten times your skill. A rump. You are definitely going to need the help of a Thargan. Of a Thargan myself. All right, I'll do it as a debt of honor to Yami's father. He was a good friend. I'll fire up the forge one last time and travel up these old roads with you. For a while, at least. After all, someone has to keep an eye on you two daydreamers. Yeah. All right. I want clothes. Wait, forge. Features coming soon. Interesting. Cut purse sandals? Do they just give armor? Wait, I can... Oh, a shield. Am I currently... I don't have a... I don't have anything in my offhand. Is that, like... I I should... Theoretically, I should be allowed to, right? One would surmise. That might be... A, that might be worth... Let's do it. Take it, it's yours. All right. Pop her on. It's on. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. All right, did we get, um, got a new talent? We did. Okay, Joseph. All right, Joseph, this is it. All right, 183 is our power. Level 2 Knight Tracy Selman. A priest. Risk the biscuit. Risk the biscuit! They get... Uh, all of them get advantage. <laughs> oh my god. Holy heal, spiritual hammer, yield fight, shove, firebolt, grapple, attack legs. Okay. Alright, alright. Probably gonna go for my legs. They're quite unprotected. Oh no. Oh, the... Oh, parried! He's, he's pretty well protected. I feel like I just got to go with the warrior strike right in the center. It seemed like it's... Parry, 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 fight. Shield block. All damage, taken is, all damage taken is absorbed by your shield for 25 turns? Hmm. 
What? But I parried it anyways. Go for the legs. Oh no. We do not like this. Our speed is... Ooh, I'm frozen. Oh no. This is bad. Defense greatly reduced. So if I can't do anything, do I literally have to rest? I mean, I could obviously yield the fight. Oh, he came to me. Thank you. All right, have this. What the parry? The parry's left, right, and center, man. He's got no no feet armor. That's going to be a good thing for us. We lost our shield. Don't want to walk back. Man, do we just... If we get, if we get this attack off, th then... We have to. But he has to, too. No, he doesn't. You son of a gun. You lucky duck. You lucky duck. About that. <laughs> About that. You have been uh, that was that was close. And are we supposed to farm on lower level sons of guns? Because I'm just getting uh, like absolutely bopped by parries and and misses. Am I supposed to just fight lower level sons of guns? Like, there's no way we make it far, Patty. <laughs> All right, Patty. I wish they had things that they said, too. Didn't the first one? I guess only the special people do. All right, you are going down. Well, ignored. Okay. You are going down. 74% to the chest. How did you reach that? I should, he's a priest. He's got to have special stuff. He's not missing health, though. Oh. Immolated. Cannot use special items. Taking extra fire damage. Broke my pants. Necrotized. All attacks do half damage. You gotta be kidding me. What is up with this guy? Every time I attack him, he gets pushed back like crazy. Is that something? Bane of the Undead, Sorceress Blood, Vulnerable. It's either vulnerable or he has an attack where he moves afterwards. I gotta be honest. We maybe just let Joseph kick the bucket finally. We're falling behind. If we can't beat this... Ah, I can't let it do it. He's just too special. He's too beautiful. But, uh, yeah, no. these. I guess we built our stats out too, too silly. I was hoping that it would be, everything would be viable, and maybe it is, but yeah, the percentage chance to hit is just not coming in our favor. You gain two stars overnight. I can learn a new move. That might help. I mean, charge would be really nice. I don't want enemies to be flying backwards. Drive your foe back. I don't really want that. I don't mind it a head attack. That might help. That might help a lot, actually. It's just those. All right. That may help. Back to camp. All right, Joseph. Bindweed. Let's go for that. Come on. Come on. We we are we are we outpower him. We outpower you. What do you got? Yield by chill bolt, meaty burp, shove. Okay, so you've got some distance to you. You've got some distance to you. You got to shove. Come on, please. Thank you. All right. Do we just go for the uh, for the head and feet? Maybe we do. 
Not bad. We obviously can't do it again yet. But that all worked out quite well. Maybe we go for like a little bit of a shield block for a sec. Parry, good. Still can't quite. Defend chance increased by 25%. All damage taken goes to shield. Good. I mean, I don't really want to do anything. Let's walk forward, I guess. Because I don't want to. I don't want to use any energy, just in case this misses. Oh no. Okay, good. Go for the feet. 84%. Head toes. Head toes. Head toes. See, that did help out a lot. Otherwise, we would have been forced to attack the chest. We would have been actually forced to. Uh, armor, we might be able to buy something now. Wh what are we not wearing? We, we've got pants and a chest plate. I've seen some people go for the feet. I've definitely seen some people go for the feet. Looking good. Looking good, Joseph. No, I'm not ready for that. But there's also like a limited amount here. Okay, I'll go for you. Why? Why? Let's do this. Advantage Loffler. Attack arms, attack legs. Happy we went for, well, it's not attack feet, it's attack legs. This is Brandor Yield Fight. Yeah, this is... This is pretty much, uh, mano a mano. To the extreme. Oh, a 19. Do we get, like, a benefit on... Any more than that? 73. You are healthier than I. It hit? Why would you want that? Come here. Why would you have wanted to knock me back again? I don't understand. I don't think you have any attacks that work from that distance. I bet you you might be... Alright, alright, playing chicken, I see. Come on, then. Come on, then. Can't hit from here. We we a charge would be great. Charge would be fantastic. You can't attack me if I you can attack me if I walk forward. I I didn't think because I can't attack from that distance. Why could you? Was that a read? Do you have an ability that like you could have uh you can do from a distance? What was that? Nineteen. Well, we, we can't get it with that. Do we just go for the warrior strike, see what we can do? Maybe we can, like, overflow, do 40 again? You son of a gun. Fatigued and yields to you after 13 turns. Oh! I didn't know that was a thing. Well, I'll be. Okay, let's think about this. Defense might not be a bad idea. It's defense against literally everything. All right, defense and hit chance. Sounds good. More sword mastery. Just keep on going on that. I think that's fine. All right. So I'm missing what? I'm missing a... I got boot, boot pant, chest plate. What you got? Oh my god. You got fancy stuff now. I don't have a hat. Oh, it's also just too expensive. I guess I could upgrade my pants. Fine. Looking good! I, I suppose I could have checked to see if there's a better sword, but I can't imagine we can buy it for the price that we have. But... 
Yeah, okay, there are more things now, but a level five sword. We could have. Oh, it does one more damage. It does one more damage. Currently, I have the shank that does two. Sell my items. Wait a minute. Wait, why is... That's my favorite, but it's not equipped. What? Equip it. What happened? How did I... I guess I unequipped it at some point. That's annoying. All right. I just cringe when streamer. It's fine. Not for sale. We can't sell that. I wish we could sell it just to, like, get rid of it. You know? Oh. I guess they make it so you can't, like, literally have nothing. Here, sell my, uh, sell my dirty pants. We are about to die. You. 311 for the regional champ. Seems, seems so not like something we can handle. Let's go for Orly. Uh, even this is sketchy because it's another, it's a human again. They get advantage here. Poor Joseph does not get advantage here. No. What is this agility? Attack arms, head, legs, firebolt, barbarian storm. We're screwed. 11 agility to my one. That is concerning. 20? Do I get like a crit? Okay, but also very low amount of health. Very low amount of health. Okay, good, good. I mean, you you ain't you ain't. These resists are big. At this point, I think we we shield block to stall the turn. Stress. That's right. Get stressed. Wait. I guess that doesn't do what I thought it did. You have a fireball. Why didn't you use it? Yeah, I figured as much. I don't know why I'd want to kick them off. Yeah, but I mean, head leg, head leg, head leg. I'm a legend that <laughs> at head, shoulders, knees, and toes combat. Definitely just not chest combat. We can't do that. One more and then we get a level up. I think we go do another fight. But okay, but we're running out of combatants. Focus. Uh, let's go back to the battle caravan though for a sec. We can actually pick up another weapon. Sure. Bonus damage versus, versus flesh as well. Does that auto equip? Is that... That's what's happening. It auto-equips. Gotcha. Well, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Hit me with a cell. Hit me with a cell on that. Back out of here. Good, good. We didn't need no sword to get where we are. We are about to die. Salute, Salute you. Uh. Hello. Hello, Focus. Yo. All right, Focus. Joseph and Focus. Oh, no. Again, very low health and a lot of armor in the chest. This is very much just a... A heads and toes. We got a crit there, which actually knocked them back. Can we go for a shield on this turn? I'm too far away, and I don't... I don't trust them to walk you. Okay, okay. There, very good. Attack head. Ooh! Oh, come on. Okay, well, we can do a little stinky dinky fight. We'll be fine. Uh, armor, what did you have? I have those, right? 476. Fair, fair. Alright. Oh, it's Focus Part 2! It's New Focus! Yo. 
I mean, we got a pretty clean, we got a pretty clean strategy for warriors. We we excel in in this. Yes, come here. Goodbye. You are nothing. You are nothing. Okay, so we get a level up, we get the gold. We'll take on the other sucker now, even though we're under, probably under geared and everything. All right. Concerned about the stamina. I don't know what they are, what they are going to be, so they may be like a really agile son of a gun. We are extremely hard countered by ranged units, like to such an amazing degree. But maybe we have 24 stars or whatever to buy the charge now, which would be really what we need. Do it. More hit chance, more damage. All right, we're 230. We are so far from where we need to be. But I will buy myself... I can't buy myself a little hat. Can we... I guess, fine. Fine. For gold, I will kill the last man here. I know that... Oh. 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 Okay, brought in a new crew. Never mind. I'll go for it. 211, and then we will fight the son of a gun. Gas is wind, shove, attack head. I really wish we got that hat. Attack legs. They, they have a hat. I, I see that much. They also have shoes. I think we may... We may be best off going for the big smack then. Oh, that was a parry, too. That is problematic. 90%. It's worth doing. Broke the helmet. I mean, that helps. Broke the boots. I mean, that's really nice. Shield block this turn. Just break all the armor. There we go. Now we can do whatever we want. Bring it on, punk. Of course. Should have figured. They can't do it again. But I also don't have a move that I can do from a distance unless I can get the charge, which I guess I didn't look to see if I had enough for or not yet. Have faith. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. He had another move. But now you're resting. Okay. 99% because you're resting is a guaranteed kill there. Good. All right. All right. I was doing it for the money. 18. That's still not enough. I mean, the charge really would be great to get. Oh, my God. We are extraordinarily outleveled, but are we outhearted? I guess I could I could just learn an ability that's not a um not what I'm good at, I guess. Do is that what we do? Do we wait, do we get the charge and then we go for it? So these are just all the skills we can get now. We're pretty close. Like, not now, but like because of our level. We are level six. Alright. Let's just go. Let's go see. Let's go get bodied. Let's go get bodied. This is roughly normally where we end these videos, anywho. A local entertainer who boasts of being the largest man in Brandor despite his diminutive stature. Possesses his, possesses luxuriant hair, a sharp tongue, powerful set of lungs, surprising vigor. Huge Charles, champion of Willard Sound. Oh no. Oh, no. Uh, a local entertainer boasts of being the largest man in Brander. Okay. Surprising vigor, or so he tells the ladies, of course. Chub, boast, yield, but taunt. Aria of respite. Gaseous wind. Oh, no. A lot of vitality. I don't know, man. 
He doesn't have any armor on his chest or higher, though. Does he? Oh, that's bad. I think we go for it, right? Huge! Oh, he broke his shoulder guard. I don't know if he has moves for distance or not. Okay, we're good. All right, hit him in the head. Necrotized. All attacks do half damage. Oh, for how long? Oh, shoot. Oh, I got, I got countered. He had me. Okay, he's got no armor left, and he is quite tired. He said he had great stamina, and yet, look at him go. Attack head. Oh, use you. Okay, he used an item. I don't have any items. That's not fair. Warrior Strike, one more turn for that. I kind of like the idea of just going for the quick attack. Highest chance to hit here. And if we do that, then the next hit from our other moves will kill. Okay, he's probably far enough for way to... The range! Okay. 88%. 78%. 78% for a kill. It's gonna have to be it. Oh, get out of here, huge Charles. Joseph is a champion. All hail Joseph, champion of Willard Sound. Huge Charles has fallen in battle, meant to throne. Claim two rewards. Stats plus one to attack. Oh my god. This is tough. Like, this is a cool item, but I am a swordman. This game is great. <laughs> this game is great. <laughs> Look at you, regional champion. Huge Charles is meant to beat it at your hands. The thing of, was a thing of beauty to watch. Listen, Tharkin and I are moving on from this town. There's a word of adventure out there to be found. World of adventure out there to be found. Making our way to Shackleford, a large town several days ride from here. It's no big city like... Fator or Praxis, but there are plenty of fights to be had there. Of course, where there are fights, there's gold to be won and spent. Let's hit the road. Grand adventures await. Dungeon. I mean, sure. New items are available in shops. Shackleford was once home to the great troubadour, a rogue swordsman, legendary defender of Brandor, Baron Wolfgang. Pleasant if from unremarkable land of gentle hills and farms, also renowned as the birthplace of the widely beloved Shackleford whiskey. Okay. Adventure in camp. What in the world? What's this? You arrive in town just to see a great plume of smoke coming from a large wooden stone building in Shackleford's outskirts. Stench of burning alcohol hits your nose, and you see a fallen sign burning on the ground. Shackleford Whiskey reads, the famous distillery is on fire. The portly woman approaches you, coughing and sputtering. You there, she cries. There's a priceless barrel up there in the loft. It's been aging for many years. It's worth a king's ransom. I'm not strong enough to haul it down here before the building collapses. I will reward you handsomely if you fetch it for me. Okay. Covering your head in wet rags, you head into the distillery. The front door is ablaze. You notice a wooden arch window to the side. Stonework up to it is rough hewn and perfect for climbing. Rapidly ascending, kick the window open. Billows of smoke burn your nostrils, but you quickly spot the barrel in question. It, at, it rests on a mantle all by itself and is plated in embossed silver with the mark of a maker. With a great effort, you haul it out the window and yell for aid. Two burly fellows assist you, lowering the barrel to the ground and away to safety. Ever grateful, the whiskey distiller rewards you with a small bag of stars. Nodding wearily, you retreat from the flames to the safety of the city proper. Great. Cool. Stranger, you see it too, don't you? You understand the gravity of the threat we face, yes? There are darker powers involved and malevolence is behind this. My late cousin Antares thought that he could bargain with such powers and years ago it consumed him. Now the same fo force corrupts the mind of the greatest gladiator the world's ever seen. Should the starbound gladiator defeat the great sentinel, all will be lost. Not kings, not emperors, not these automatons. None will stop him from opening the constellation mirror and inviting all the malevolence in to destroy us all. I am Personet of Eldor Hoth. Far have I traveled in search of you across the scorching desert and deep ocean. Your fate lines are strong. 
for they call to me. Yes, it shall be you. I will arm you with the power of my sorceries that you may defend us all. You shall be the great sentinel. What? What can you do? Alchemize? Oh. Fair. Reset talents. Enchant. Coming soon. Oh my god. What is this? Take this to the armorer to forge new equipment. Interesting. So there's potions. So we too could cheat. We too could cheat. I mean, let's level up our man, even though he, he's earned it. We are going to be probably done here after this, but I want to check out a couple. There's a couple more things to look at. Yeah, now let him die how he lived. Strong as hell. More sword. The most sword man there is. All in, no thought, just sword. Training, learn skill. Oh my god, look at all these extra things that have just shown up. Swift sandals, double your movement speed for five turns. Throw your weapon for 24 damage. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? I definitely want charge, though. One million percent I want charge. I feel like that, that alone helps our, um, our downside a lot. Attack torso, attack arms. I don't know. Do we need it, really? Not sure. But alas, alas. That is that, and that's going to do it here for today. For Swords and Sandals Immortals, I tell you guys, if you want me to play more of this, oh boy, would I. Oh boy, would I. I, I the thought of making a new character when Joseph dies and... Uh, you know, keeping our <laughs> keeping our warrior alive to the end. Uh, it's very cool. I, I, I like that. Like, it seems like you really could play a, a handful of different ways. And obviously, I, I was worried about how different each run or character would really feel. But now that I see that more stuff unlocks right here, and uh, seeing all the other stuff that we could, you know, pick up and buy, everything like that. Seems like there is a, there is more more indeed than I had thought, and I already was interested in the game. And seeing how many things are going to be potentially coming in future updates in the early access, I'm very curious. I'm very interested in this. Let me know. Comment down below. Would you like to see more? My name is Retromation. Cover any games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes. If this is a genre you are into, if this game especially is something you were interested in, this is a channel you are going to want to be subscribed to. I play new games every single day, and I will not I will not rest until you are made aware of all of the best games in the roguelike genre especially but hey i love this game i love this game a lot it was very fun today the last last thing for watching check out the channel roguelikes more every single day and i'll see you next time bye let me know if you want more